hey what's up guys and welcome to another arc garage video today we're going to be working on rear brakes on alfa romeo giulietta more specifically we'll be replacing brake discs and pads i'm going to start by undoing the brake fluid tank cap next i'm going to undo rear wheels and for that you're going to need 17 millimeter socket Before I start working on anything, I'm going to spray WD-40 on all of the bolts that need to be removed. To undo the brake caliper bolts, I'm going to use 15 and 13 millimeter spanners. I'm going to use 15 millimeter one to keep the slider pin from spinning and I'm going to use 13 millimeter one to undo the bolt. Next, I'm gonna undo the brake pad connector. To do that, just pull on the plastic clip and uh, separate the connector. Now, I can use my pry bar to pull up the brake caliper. When you get the brake caliper free, secure it with a hook so it doesn't rest on this uh, handbrake cable right here and on the brake line i'm gonna remove the brake pads now you can see that this one completely separated from the meat and that resulted in that uh, squeaky sound on this left rear side one thing i gotta say is that uh, you're not gonna replace your rear brakes uh, very often so it's always a good idea to replace brake discs as well to avoid uh, any squealing of the brakes. Now, if you keep the old brake discs, they already have grooves in them, and that could result in that uh, squeaky sound. Next, I'm gonna remove these uh, two brake carrier uh, bolts. They are eight millimeter Allen. Now I can already tell that these are too tight they shouldn't be going this hard now my guess is uh, that somebody either uh, over tightened them or they used the uh, permanent thread glue now that you got everything removed you can spin the disc and check the condition of your bearing Keep in mind that you don't want to hear any of the grinding noise. To remove the brake disc, I've put some insulation tape on the screwdriver and I've pushed it through one of these uh, lug nut holes uh, just so it doesn't spin. Next, I'm going to use 5mm Allen bit and undo this uh, one screw. There it is. You can see that this disc is still stuck in its place, so I'm going to use my hammer to tap on it lightly. And it's free. One of the very important things you need to do is to clean this area right here where the brake disc uh, mounts on. You want to get it uh, nice and clean and rust free. This is the only specialty tool you need, it's very cheap, you can get it for 20-30 euros and it's used to wind back the rear calipers. So I got my right adapter, I'm gonna place it like this and undo this main screw. And now I'm just gonna spin this handle till I get uh, the piston all the way back. Also, you should check the condition of this rubber boot, which keeps all of the dirt and moisture out. This one right here is a bit scratched, but uh, there is no, uh, there are no tears. 
Okay, that's it. Here are the new discs. One thing that I like about them is that they painted these edges in black so they don't rust. Another very important thing you always want to do is to compare the new discs to the old ones. You want to check like this uh, metal hole. You want to make sure that all of the other holes match and you also want to check out the size. Another thing you shouldn't forget is that uh, these new discs are covered in grease and before you mount them you have to clean them using a brake cleaner. Before I mount the new disc I'm going to use some copper grease to put over the hub that's going to keep the area free of rust and it's going to make the disassembly much easier in the future. Now I'm going to clean uh, the brake caliper carrier. Now this surface right here must be clean if uh, you want to avoid squeaky brakes in the future. So I'm going to clean everything using the wire brush and the brush on the drill. I'm also going to pull these uh, metal clips up and I'm going to clean the area underneath. I'm also going to pull these slider pins out. You can see that there isn't much grease on them. Uh, now you have to uh, lubricate these again if you want to avoid that brake squeal. And for that I'm going to use some grease which can uh, withstand high temperatures. Now uh, I'm set up to put the new brake disc on. I'm gonna line it properly and I'm gonna put that screw back in. One thing that you have to keep in mind that you uh, never want to over tighten this screw. It's there only to keep the brake disc in place before uh, you put the wheel back on. It's uh, time to reinstall the brake caliper carrier. As I said before, the two bolts which were holding it in place were very hard to get loose. One of the reasons is this permanent glue that somebody put on. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, regular thread glue and I'm gonna screw them back on. Alright, this is the time where I should torque them using a torque wrench, however due to the permanent thread glue they used, I've actually twisted off one of the bolts on the other side. For that reason I'm gonna tighten them by hand, I just wanna make sure that they are strong enough. Moving on to the brake pads, uh, here's the new set, it actually comes with these four new bolts and they already have the thread glue on them. Again as with the disc you always want to compare them with the old ones to make sure that they are the same shape and size. Uh, before I mount the brake pads back on I'm gonna lubricate these metal clips using some copper grease. Uh, if uh, you don't want to lubricate the clips, you can actually lubricate the metal part on the brake pads where they make the contact. 
Also, you want to make sure that you don't get any of the grease on the brake disc. Now I can install the new brake pads. You want to pay attention to the orientation. You want to make sure that the meat is on the inside as uh, obvious as that sounds. I'm gonna get my brake caliper. I'm gonna guide this uh, cable through. I'm gonna place it in the right spot and uh, I'm gonna reinstall the two screws which hold it in place. Now to tighten them again I'm gonna use 15 and 13 millimeter spanners and the tightening torque is going to be 30 newton meters. I'm going to reconnect the connector for the brake pads and I am close to done. Again, I'm just gonna spray everything one more time with some brake cleaner just to remove any of the grease residue from my gloves. I'm gonna get inside the car and pump the brakes until the pedal gets hard. And uh, lastly, I'm gonna check the brake fluid level to make sure that it's at max and I'm gonna put the cap back on. And uh, that would basically be it. Uh, take your car for a test drive, make sure that everything works properly as it should and that there are no unwanted noises. Anyway, that would be all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If you did, hit that like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of our fisty.